Michael, first off, have you gotten the chance to talk with Jamal yet? Since uh, quickly at halftime and uh, quickly after the game. Uh, obviously, I talked to him right at the half, and uh, you know he thought he was going to be able to try to maybe give it a go, see how it warmed up, and uh, it just wasn't responding the way he had hoped. So I think it was a smart decision you know, not to you know, have him out there, uh, just trying to be um, as careful as possible at this point in the season. And uh, that's why I give our other guys credit. You know, Reggie stepped up. CB is our backup point guard in the second half. And the most impressive thing for me is, you know, that's a five wins in a row. You know, the first four were kind of like, you know, ball was flying, we're getting we're running. And tonight was a completely different game. Tonight was a playoff game. Possession by possession, half court. They're a great defensive team. We had to earn everything. We didn't have a great shooting night, but though Michael Porter was outstanding, you know, his 30 and 11, uh, you know, see Nicola, Aaron, KCP. Um, it was a, it's a quality win against a team that's been playing at a high level. So proud of our guys, you know, uh, on a back to back against that kind of an opponent. What stood out about the defense you got in that third quarter, especially when you were kind of without a true point guard with yeah. Joker and a bunch of wings? Yeah, it was um, on nights where your offense is not clicking and you're struggling to make shots, your defense better be great. And uh, if it's not, you're getting blown out. And that was what was uh, unique about tonight is that we shot 42, they shot 42. And it was a, uh, you know, we won it, won it by six points, very reminiscent of our finals games. You know, I mean, keeping them right below 100 points. Uh, but that unit found enough stops, and we were able to get enough baskets. And I thought Michael on that stretch was, you know, I took him out with two minutes to go because I knew I wanted to get him back in to start the third, uh, the fourth, rather, when I took Nicola out. And, uh, but I felt Michael's baskets and his offense were kind of carrying the day to give us that separation. And um, it, was, uh, it was great to see Michael step up with, you know, like he did in Portland. When Jamal didn't play that game, Michael was outstanding. Jamal didn't play second half, Michael was outstanding. So, you know, give Michael, uh, Aaron, Nicola, Pope, all those guys just a, a ton of credit for playing the games that they played. Coach, it's the second game in a row that you've held the team under 100 points. I know that's kind of a benchmark for you guys. Do you see your defense kind of rounding into form or, or taking a step improvement since oh, yeah. the break? Yeah, I think we're one of maybe like three teams in the league that are top 10 in offensive defense and uh, on the season. And then now with five games in a row post All-Star break, uh, I think our defense is probably around top five right now in a short period of time. Um, but when you win and you have a winning streak, it's always going to coincide with playing good defense, for us at least, uh, because that's where it starts. And uh, that's why we were able to win last year. I thought the defense in the playoffs stepped up. So um, you know, we have you know, a, a tough game in LA coming up. And then we have a couple of really tough teams coming into Ball Arena to start off the month of March. So that defense has to continue these final 23 games. You've mentioned defense, obviously, without Jamal, obviously. This team has found a lot of ways to win in, in different ways throughout the year, and especially last year along the way to the title. Just what can you speak to finding different and unique ways to win throughout the season and, and changing yourself to kind of how the game is? Uh, well, good teams, great teams, find a way. And again, I. I the first four, man, we were averaging 24 in transition, 36 assists, 68 in the paint. It was like, this is like a video game. And then tonight it was like, oh, wow, this is an elite defense. It wasn't as easy. And plus, I think we were somewhat tired from playing last night. But um, you got to regroup. You got to figure out, OK, how is the game being called by the officials? Uh, it's, we're not getting all those transition points tonight. We only had nine. Um, so now you got to be really sharp with your execution. You got to make open shots, and you, you, you got to make sure that you're taking care of the basketball. And uh, you know we did a decent job with that tonight. But it speaks to us being a really experienced and talented team that can win lots of different ways. When, when Nicola puts up a shot, even from 70 feet away, what constitutes a shot coach and, and what doesn't? Nicola was clearly arguing for it. That's happened in my nine years with Nicola. You know how many times that's happened? Like 12. And, and I think what happens is, the referees are just looking at the location. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no way you'd be shooting a jump shot from 75 feet. But for me and for Nicola, take away the, forget the location. If I am in my upward shooting motion, it should be a shooting foul. 
should be three free throws because it's a 75 foot three point attempt. And I just want to make sure the league knows that Nicola works on 75 shot uh, foot pull ups after practice every day. But it, it's tough. I mean, the referees have a really hard job, especially in a game like that, where it is a slow, half court, physical. Each possession is just, you know, mano y mano. Uh, it's, it's a very hard game to referee. But uh, that's what I see in those plays is that he, he's smart. He knows they're going to foul. So he goes up to the shooting motion. And I don't think he's ever been rewarded free throws once. And hopefully that will change at some point. When you have someone as tough as Jamal, as a gamer mentality as Jamal, you have to balance the big picture of the mm -hmm. six months to go versus 10 games or whatever with him, or does he kind of know? Well, usually, yes, yes, it is, like, because Jamal is, and I've said this many times to you guys, is that he's one of the toughest guys I've ever been around. Mentally, physically, he can play through things that a lot of guys wouldn't even consider playing through. And so when Jamal realizes, hey, man, you know, we've got 23 games to go. This is not feeling great right now. Um, I think it's, you know, it's great for him to realize being cautious right now is probably the, the really prudent decision. And, um, and that shows also maturity. You know, he's growing up and he realized that we, and I've said this about, hey, you guys should be the number one seed. Yeah, that'd be great. I want to be healthy. Because I know if we're healthy, then we can beat anybody anywhere. And so that's all I care about is trying to be as healthy as possible down the stretch and into the playoffs. He's, he's dealt with ankle stuff, hamstring stuff, shin stuff this season. Do you guys, after another one that kind of piles on, do you look at trying to find him a couple games off here coming up, do you think, or, or will he want to play through some of that? Well, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, uh, you know, this is a back-to-back, -back, so all, all tomorrow is going to be his meet at the plane, fly to L.A. and get ready for the, uh, the Lakers. He'll come in, all the other guys will come in and get some kind of treatment, some player development prior to the flight. And we'll see. I had a quick uh, discussion with Steve Short, who heads that group. And, um, you know, if there's any hesitancy, then, you know, he won't play in L.A. if the ankle's not right. But if he, if he feels like, no, I can go out there. And, and the question is never, can I go play? I think, oh, I can play. No. Can you play effectively? Because if you're not playing effectively, you're putting everybody else at a disadvantage. So we'll see. And if, he need, if he's not able to play against the Lakers because of the ankle injury, then we'll hopefully get him back for Phoenix a couple days after that. Thank you, Coach. Thank Thanks, you, Coach. Michael and Nicole.